This is the Burkhardt arithmometer. It was built by Arthur Burkhardt in Germany, started in around 1880. Burkhardt is credited for kickstarting the mechanical calculator industry in Germany. He did that by helping a friend of his from engineering school get out of a jam. Burkhardt arrived, and in short order, he delivered two mechanical calculators to the rating Prussians. Those machines he delivered were merely debadged Thomas arithmometers, which Burkhardt started cloning and selling. Thomas had lost his patent protection in Germany, so this was all perfectly legal. Burkhardt wasn't really that good of a salesman. He sold most of his machines to another calculator maker, Hugo Bunzel, who really couldn't make his own calculators. So Bunzel took them and slapped his own label on them, and this secret arrangement kept both men solvent. Burkhardt didn't even do much to advance his own machines. The later ones are very similar to the early ones. He did have a patent for a full key step drum machine that uh, only one device was ever produced. It doesn't look like it made it to market. So here's my Burkhart. It has this nice little cubby hole with a slate door. You can put stuff in and write on there. The serial number on mine is 1166, making it a Model A. I'm not sure what that other number is. The paper says something about a delivery date. It has this little wood door that you can unlock and swing down on the back of it to give it a nice user-friendly tilt. It has the typical arithmometer sliding inputs. So if you want to multiply 25 by 5, you can do that. Shifting the carriage is a little hard because you got to get your fingers under there. but it gives the right answer. If you try to do that same operation while it's in subtraction mode, it'll underflow, give you a ding. It sure sounds like a sketchy old roller coaster going up the first hill. It smells like it too. Here are the beveled rollers in action. Those are the little cams that switch the uh, carry-on. The clearing dials are just awful. You spin that dial, which has a tendency to want to spring back before you're ready for it to come out. Now my springs are a little sprung, so they're probably not as strong as the original ones. I, I have to help it get back. But uh, dialing that thing a few times is just terrible. Here's the accumulator clearing. A lot of times I play with this and I think, man, good job Burkhart. But I have to remind myself that it's really good job Thomas. Because it's a clone through and through. I like how the uh, clearing bars fall down to mesh with the gears of the um, counters and accumulators. And then they rise back up to get out of the way. Looking straight down on the back, you can see there's a little metal latch. Mine's unlatched already. And if you can reach down there and unlatch that, it reveals a little sliding panel in which you can access the mechanics of it. Then you just gotta tilt it on its side and slide the door open to reveal as good of a view of the inside as you can get by taking it apart. 
Although I gotta tilt it so the crank handle will turn. It looks smaller than you expect it to look, or than I expect it to look, once you take off the case, which is not hard to do. All you have to do is take off three screws and then somehow get your fingernails in between the machine and the wood, and uh, it just comes right on out. It's pretty bare bones compared to later models or later others thermometers before they started adding more bells and whistles. At the end of the day, Burkhart made a quality clone. It's uh, a simple step drum machine, just a pleasure to use. Thanks for watching.